For this Alex topic, we want to solve an equation that has signed fractions in it. And the best method that you want to use for this is to find the least common denominator. So always look at the largest denominator and see if it works. But 3 and 2 do not go into 5. So find a value that 3 and 2 and 5 will all divide into. You could do your times tables for 5. Or you could also multiply all of the denominators together. 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. So 30 would work as the least common denominator. After you find the least common denominator, you're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 30. When you do this, you end up having to distribute the 30 to every term. So everything gets the 30. Next, clear the fractions. So that means take your denominators, divide it into the LCD. So 3 goes into 30 15 times. Take that number and multiply by the numerator. So 15 times 2 is 30. So I have 30V. As I move to the next part of the problem, we have a minus and 2 goes into 30. Oh, I made a mistake there. Let's back up. Okay, so LCD was 30. Made a division error here. 3 goes into 30 10 times. So 10 times 2 is 20. So I want to bring down 20V minus. 2 goes into 30 15 times. So now I want to evaluate 15 times 3, which is 45 equals, and then we have a negative, 5 goes into 30 6 times, and 6 times 2 is 12. Okay, so I want to solve for v now. So I'm going to add the 45 to the other side. So 20v is equal to negative 12 plus 45. So that's going to be positive 33. And lastly, you're going to divide by the coefficient 20. So v is equal to 33 over 20. And you'll enter that in as an improper fraction. Always check to make sure that the fraction is reduced, and this is. So that is how you'll simplify an equation that has signed fractions in it. Find the LCD. Everything gets the LCD all the way across. Cancel your denominators into the LCD, multiply that number by the numerator, and that gives you an equation that has all of the fractions cleared out. Another pie topic is to figure out if you have a case of no solution, or you have a solution, or you have all real numbers that are solutions. So as we solve, sometimes you will find that the letters cancel. Now in this first equation, I get 5w plus 10 plus w is equal to 3w minus 3 plus 1. 5w plus w is 6w plus 10 equals 3w, and negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Now if you look at this on both sides, you'll notice that the w's are not the same, and therefore the w's will not cancel out. So I am going to get a solution on this if I continue to solve the equation. So if the letters don't cancel, you do get a solution. So I have 3w is equal to negative 12. When I divide by 3, w is equal to negative 4. So I would enter in w equals negative 4, and I would check that answer. Now in the next example, when we distribute, we have negative 4x minus 4 equals 2 minus 4x minus 6. So negative 4x minus 4 equals negative 4x, I'm going to write the x first, and 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Now if you look at this equation, it's the same thing on both sides. You have a negative 4x and a negative 4x minus 4 minus 4. When it matches on both sides like that, you can plug in any number for x and the equation will always balance. So this is infinite solutions or all real numbers will work. Now how do we recognize a no solution? A no solution would occur in something like this. 
Okay, so I distribute and I get 2x plus 2 equals 2x minus 10. Now here you can see that the x's will actually cancel. They zero out because they subtract away, and it doesn't match on both sides. I have 2 and then negative 10, and that will never be equal. So it doesn't matter what number I plug in for x on both sides, I'm never going to get this equation to balance. So this is a case of no solution. When your letters match and the equation doesn't balance, no solution will work.